Okay, happy new year guys. I know I have not made an official like sit down content type of video in months. I apologize. I am trying to make a schedule for 2019 and I think I'm leaning more towards a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, possibly an extra video on Saturday type routine, but I'm still trying to figure it out. So just bear with me. I know I always say that, but I promise you, I'm trying to come back strong for 2019 because we got goals to reach. We have goals to reach and we will reach them. Hopefully the background noise isn't too bad. Um, I'm really not trying to get off, get up off this floor since I'm already down here. If I go wrong. This is the second time that I have been burned. Okay, the second time that I've been burned by deodorant. The first time was with native deodorant. You know, I had the vanilla something or other. I'll leave like the video link up here or whatever. And everything seemed to be going okay. And then looked in the mirror and my armpits were black. So I stopped using it. I discontinued use of it immediately. Now, at Target, you know, after my grandma's birthday, I'm just shopping and looking. I'm like, oh, there goes Schmidt's natural deodorant. One of you guys um, stated that I should try it out. So I seen it, decided to try it, and I bought the Schmidt's rose and vanilla. I know it's really bright. There we go. Rose and vanilla um, deodorant. And this has no aluminum in it. That's the main point of me trying to look for um, a deodorant that has, that's natural, that has no aluminum in it. Aluminum has been, you know, aluminum has, I guess, like links to like cancer or, you know, skin irritation. Like it's a list of things that aluminum kind of, let me not say kind of, could create in the body some issues and I just rather not deal with that or like you know have that come up later on the first couple days were perfectly fine I was dry there was no scent even though this smells absolutely amazing like if they don't do anything else they need to create like um like some body sprays because this smells amazing I know it's so bright I think y'all can see that there there you go so it's brown or tan and it looks like sand it looks like sand um and it has like a gritty feel to it first day cool second day cool third day cool fourth day was having like some stress sweat because i'm always running late for work i gotta work on that 2019 goals see i got goals to create and meet so <laughs> i was stressed with because i was running late and i'm on probation <laughs> and i can't keep being late like that right so um i had some stress but i'm like well you know this is my first time you know playing with this type of deodorant and i'm having stress sweat so maybe that's why i'm wet and i have a little bit of odor then the next day completely cool day six day seven came I was musty and I just did not understand. I did not understand and I did not want to figure out why I was finished. And then I'm like, okay, let me give it another day. So Saturday comes, you know, getting out the shower, just about to get ready to go somewhere. And like, like I said, I'm like this. I'm like this, y'all. I'm looking. I turn, I'm like, the devil armpit black again our pit is straight black yet again like it looked like somebody lit my armpit on fire and it's the deodorant like i don't know like i don't want to have any issues because of deodorants with aluminum but i also don't want discolored hyperpigmentation looking armpits like i mean it's january but spring is right around the corner summer is right around the corner Friends got trips they want to plan out the country, swimsuits, you know, like, I don't want discolored armpits. I'm already trying to work on my knees and elbows. Now I got to add armpits to it. You know, I just don't want that. And it's been like three, maybe three weeks. I tried to record this video before it did not work. Whatever. Um, Been three weeks and the color is coming back 
I was kind of using my um, Koji Axis soap again like I did before with the native um, deodorant when it burned me I used that a little bit and then you know the color started to come back so it's sad that I have a routine for if this happens I'm just not trying to deal with you know black armpits so I have been going back to my Mitchum's deodorant um, I mean, it's so strong, you could skip a day. Mitchum is strong, but I don't skip a day. It's just routine for me to apply deodorant every day. Some people out there in the world really need to pick up that habit. Anyway, it was like 567 or something like that for this 2.6, 2.65 ounce um, bottle or whatever, or bar. And like I said, it looks like, it looks like sand. I know that light is so bright. <sighs> Maybe third time's a charm. Maybe the, the next native, or I'm sorry, next natural deodorant that I try will actually, you know, work, keep me dry, have a decent smell, and, you know, not turn my armpits colors or different colors or dark or whatever. But I don't know. I don't, I just don't know. Like, I can't keep putting my skin. <laughs> through the ringer so I don't know like I just can't deal with the black armpits and the mustiness now somebody else also commented well you know deodorant isn't ne um, necessarily supposed to keep down odor then what is it supposed to do what they created for I'm too grown I'm too old to be walking around musty I'm sorry it's just not gonna work there's no excuse Okay, so to apply this, for those that want to go out and try this deodorant, to apply this, um, and I probably should have cleaned mine off a little bit, but I didn't, so I will. Roll it up a little bit, and to warm this up, you just want to, I guess, um, lay it on the skin, let it warm up for a second, and then make even strokes. Okay, make even strokes. And literally it will dissolve like it's almost like coconut coconut oil like when it gets body heat it kind of like melts so it's kind of like that the scent will die down so it's not an all-day type of scent it lingers for a couple hours but then it goes away you just lightly apply even strokes and you don't need to apply too many um, too many strokes yeah just soften on contact with body heat Skin sensitivities may occur. Do not apply directly after shaving. Do not over apply or use on broken skin. Discontinue use if rash or irritation develops. Keep out of reach of children. I had skin irritation, skin sensitivities, and irritation develops. So I, I discontinued use. So yeah, any you know products that you think I should try, please let me know because this is not it. And I'm not about to keep trying it, so. Another one bites the dust. <laughs>